Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. This is Rock and Roll Spot Connection with the newest installment of Building the Team. Um, last week, we uh, built, we, we tried out three teams, you, uh, each one having each of the rarities. That game was postponed for reasons. And then um, came the sad news on Monday of Stan Lee's passing. So it was decided that that, uh, that rather than use that uh, rather than just have the you know do the 500 point each rarity um, build for this week instead we will be doing a 600 point build Mo must be all Marvel in honor of Stanley. So, I had various ideas. I thought maybe we'll try an X-Men team or try, try and build something with the original five and and, Z and maybe also Z if we can fit him in Xavier. You know, but nothing seemed... Uh, it was always either too much or... I, I would either go too... I would either go over or I wouldn't be close enough and... Uh, I couldn't find anyone to squeeze in to make it work. Um, I also thought about maybe building a team around the Avengers lineup known as Cap's Cookie Quartet. Um, now, Cap's Cookie Quartet is uh, is refers to the uh, the Avengers lineup that debuted in Avengers number sixteen when. Um, Basically, the only event, all of the founders had left at that point. Um, Ant-Man, Wasp, Hulk, Thor, Iron Man, all of them had left. Gone, there, gone to the, their separate ways. But Cap was still there, having joined the team after they found him in the uh, frozen in the in ice in issue number four. Well, he... But they, there, there still needed to be Avengers, so he put out an ad. Basically, put out a, a he basically just put out an ad saying, "Hey, who? If you want to be an Avenger, come on down. I'll, you know, we'll we'll see what we'll see what we can do." Um, and it ended up being Cap, Hawkeye, Scarlet Witch, and Quicksilver. Um. And eventually, of course, that would, but yeah, that like I said, that became referred to as Cap's Cookie Quartet. Uh, but as much as I wanted to do something like that, it, I ended up having, just having to add and add and add because yeah. So I, uh, I, I looked at um, the Avengers, the classic Avengers starter set that uh, came out a few years ago in conjunction with uh, Avengers Assemble and um, the Age of Ultron uh, storyline set. And I thought to myself, and it's like, you know what, those, that, those figures might work out pretty well, and lo and behold, I could actually build the founding event, the original Avengers squad. Um, Iron Man, Thor, Wasp, Ant-Man, and the Hulk. So I'd start, I looked at it, hey, what do you know? 600 points, so that's what we're going with. So, to start things off, we've got, excuse me, we've got Ant-Man. Yeah. And you can see him here riding some ants. Ant-Man comes in at 75 points. He's got the Avengers uh, team ability. He's also got the Avengers and Scientist keywords, as well as the Avengers Founder trait. This is actually going to be on everyone. Anyways, so the Avengers Founder, Founder trait. When adjacent to other friendly characters with this trait, Ant-Man can use in power. Okay. It's, you know, very, very... Um, I can't think of the word right now, but it basically, you know, this is when you can use it. 
So he doesn't have empower all the time, just occasionally when, just the, on the occasion that he happens to be adjacent to someone else with this trait. Anyway, so he starts off with stealth, precision strike, super senses, and a defense of 19. So that's, oof. You can hit his defense. There's still a good chance you're still gonna you you'll still miss. And we got out wit. Alright. Now, um we click into charge on speed. Uh, it looks like precision strike is the only power he has on uh, attack. Super senses super senses clicks into combat reflexes. Out wit clicks into the special power. I pack a punch. Ant-Man can activate his Close Combat Expert as a Close Combat Action. When he uses Close Combat Expert, he has the standard damage symbol until your next turn. And uh, the clicks when he has I Pack a Punch actually coincide with the clicks when he has Charge. So he can use Close Combat Expert with Charge. Um, after that, he's got Perplex. All right. So next up, we've got the Winsome Wasp. Anyway, so Wasp comes in at 75 points, just like Ant-Man. Uh, she also has the, the Avengers Founder trait and the Avengers team ability. She also, trait or keyword wise, we've got Avengers, Celebrity, and Lady Liberators. She starts off with Running Shot, uh, Special Power, Bioelectric Bursts. Uh, she can use energy explosion. When she does, the damage dealt to hit characters is penetrating damage if they have two action tokens. Not bad, not bad. Defensively, we've got we start off with energy shield deflection, and on damage we've got enhancement. So she can potentially have both empower and enhancement. Then uh, running shot gives way to stealth, which gives way to earthbound neutralize. So she will eventually be standard. Viral Electric Burst gives way to Poison. Okay. Energy Deflection gives way to Super Senses. And Enhancement gives way to Range Combat Expert. All in all, not bad in the slightest. Next up, we've got the Armored Avenger, Iron Man. Yes, we can all take a moment and laugh at the, at the uh, original, well, the second version of uh, the armor. I I tend to refer to this and the version before it as the silver and gold trash cans. Anyway, Iron Man comes in at 150 points. He's got the Avengers team ability. He brings the Armor, Avengers, Scientists, and Stark Industries keywords to the table. He's also got the Avengers Founder keyword. However, instead of Empower, like Wasp and Ant-Man, he's got Enhancement. Or, he when he, he can use Enhancement. Anyway, opening up, we start off with Jet Skates, which allows Iron Man to use Charger and Running Shot. I'm pretty sure it refers to uh, the fact that once upon a time... Tony Stark built, built roller skates into one of his armors. No, really. Look it up. It's true. Um, on attack, we've got the special power Mono Beam, which allows him to use Penetrating Psychic Blast. And when he does, he can, he can use Improved Targeting, Ignores Hindering Terrain, and, and Ignores and Destroys Blocking Terrain. Um... Then we've got on defense, invincible. On attack, we've got outwit. Um, so, anyways, jet skates gives way to force blast. Mono beam gives way to penetrating second blast and pulse wave. Okay. Invincible gives way to invulnerability, which gives way to toughness, which gives way to regeneration. So you can so you can uh, you can heal at least a little bit. 
And uh, wit gives way to perplex. Okay, all right. Next on the list, we've got the mighty Thor. Oh, shit. Now, I, re I, say, I really love this sculpt. The, uh, the one for the uh, title character version of Thor is nice and all. And it's a really nice sculpt. It really is. But this, oh, with the sl swinging his hammer like that, or twirling his hammer, I should say, that is so cool looking. I love sculpts that have that little bit of action built into it. Uh, the, uh, the Ghost Rider from Incredible Hulk has a similar... His sculpt is in a similar fashion where he's twirling his chain and he's got Hellfire... It, yeah, it looks so cool. Anyway, Thor comes in at 150 points. You got the Avengers team ability. Um, we got Asgardian, Avengers, and Deity keywords. The Avengers founder keyword with enhancement, just like Iron Man. Opening up, we've got Running Shot, Penetrating Second Blast, and Pervious, and that's the no damage powers at all. Uh, anyways, Running Shot gives way to Charge, which then gives way to Flurry. Penetrating Second Blast gives way to Super Strength. Impervious gives way to Invulnerability, which gives way to Toughness. Okay. Rather simple. Uh, anyway. Finally, we've got the Hulk. Now, yeah. Here, you know, just so we can see the Hulk. Sadly, I could not, for whatever, I could not find the Hulk from uh, from this set. So I've I've made it, but I've made arrangements to use one such to use one. So, anyways, that particular Hulk from the, the Avengers, classic Avengers uh, starter. Comes in at 150 points. He has the Avengers team ability. Um, brings the Avengers, Brute, Defenders, and Monster keywords to the table. Avengers founder keyword, or trait, uh, giving him power. Then uh, we open up with Unstoppable Fury. This allows Hulk to use Flurry, Sidestep, and Improved Movement, ignores, ignores Hindry Train, ignores and destroys Blocking Train, and ignores characters. He's also got the transporter symbol, meaning he can carry a friendly character. A normal size friendly character, I should say. On attack, we open up with the special power Hulk Smash. This allows Hulk to use super strength. When he uses an object during an attack, he can choose to increase his attack value instead of his damage value for the same amount. That's actually pretty cool. Um, if, say, maybe you need kind of that, that boost of you need the boost more to attack than to damage. Well, there you go. Then uh, on damage, we open up with invulnerability, and he's he has uh, uh, indomitable as does uh, Thor. I forgot to mention that again. I forgot to mention that on both the, or on Thor at least. Uh, and on damage, we open up with close combat expert. Um, now. Hulk's Dial, the rest of it, I should say. Unstoppable Fury gives way to Charge and then Leap Climb. On Attack, Hulk Smash gives way to Quake, which gives way to Super Strength, which clicks back to Quake and then Hulk Smash again. Defense, um, Invulnerability gives way to Invincible, which gives way to Toughness. And Damage, Close Combat Expert gives way to some Mid Dial Battle Fury, and that's it. So anyway, that is, uh, that's the Avengers team, uh, the founding Avengers team that I'll be running this week, and, uh, the next, uh, next one is, well, let, I'll let you know how, how it did. Uh, I, I, ha I, in all honesty, I have not used most of these figures before. However, I have used... Thor and Iron Man before, and they actually worked out pretty well together. 
They co they actually complement each other very well. And I can definitely think of uh, the right way to use them. Hmm. Ah, God, I hate this weather. Anyway, that's it for me today. Um, as always, feel free to like, share, and subscribe. Hit the notif the notification bell so that uh, you can be notified when I put up new content. And um, links to my Facebook, Twitter, and Patreon are in the description box down below, as always. And this is Rock and Roll Spock signing off, saying live long and rock hard. <laughs>